Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Trauma Center Under the Knife 2. Let's see if we can figure out what this uh, crazy HOA people are doing. Their somewhat shifty tactics and their possible guilt research. Greg, look! The investigation is on TV! So, it's finally begun. I'm Will Anderson, reporting live from the hands of Eclipsius headquarters. Police will be arriving soon to conduct an investigation of the charges filed against the HOA. Both the HOA and Acropolis Pharmaceutical are being indicted for violating international law. This news has shocked many, as they played a major role in averting medical terrorism. Yeah, I'm sure no one anticipated this. The police have just stepped inside the building. Yes, it appears the investigation is underway. The officials don't appear to be encountering any resistance, so things should continue smoothly. But behind the agents, we do have what appears to be an entire staff of medical advisors. This is likely a safety measure being taken to caution against any potential guilt threats. It's Derek and the others. They're putting themselves in danger again. I just hope everyone stays safe. Uh, excuse me. I heard what you've been going through, Professor. It must have been very hard on you. Yes, but I'm glad this day has finally come. Angie, I'm sorry. I've been deceiving you all along. Father. Your actions were very brave, Father. I'm not bitter in the slightest. But, Professor, what convinced you to take on a task like this? I knew from the start that it would be, would be a dangerous gamble. But I also knew that this was the only way to solve the mystery of the guilt inside Emilio Juarez. You've had your doubts since way back then? Indeed. Yes. Victor and I were researching it from all possible angles. And we arrived at a conclusion we could not dismiss. The key was Emilio's new liver. It was most likely... It was the most likely source of the new guilt. We figured it'd be, we, it had been tampered with, as well as the test results. The organ was supplied by Acropolis, to whom Elysium had outsourced their testing. So, in order to get closer to them, I accepted the offer made by the hands of Eclipsius. I see. I had believed that I would find a Delphi agent among them. But it had ended up being Acropolis that was responsible for all the illegal activity. Who would have thought that guilt was the driving force behind the HOA's Ability Enhancement Program? Hey. When did you realize that, Father? I caught on when cases of the new guilt started being reported to the hands of Eclipsius. The information came directly to us, through Acropolis's marketing network. None of the reports specified that those cases were guilt-related. But it was clear to our eyes. It was a horrifying realization. We're working on a countermeasure for the new guilt back at Caduceus. I'm glad to hear that. It's the HOA doctors who are in the most danger. The new guilt controls the nervous system and denatures the brain. Its effects could be perceived as beneficial, but if it were to become malignant... Doctor, we have a problem. Of course we have a problem. What's wrong? We found a potential guilt victim. Understood. We'll be right there. I knew this wasn't going to go smoothly. As did I, Dr. Styles. As did I. Uh, don't come near me! Don't touch me! My head! Stop struggling, sir. You have to calm down. The men were struck by a sudden onset of pain. Dr. Styles, those men on the floor. They're HOA doctors. My head, my head. Ah! This must be what mu this must be what Professor Blackwell was talking about. Doctor, what are your orders? All right. We need to treat them immediately. Anyone without protective gear is to stand back. Ugh, my head. There doesn't appear to be any external damage to his head. 
His breathing and his heartbeat aren't impaired. Could it be his brain? Indeed. We'll need a CT scan of his head. He also needs a sedative, as soon as possible. There's a high probability that he's suffering guilt-induced brain trauma. Professor. Angie, let's get to the facility's examination rooms. Understood. Yes, Dr. Stiles. Well, I guess we have to do some brain surgery. Because we're so talented in that. The CT scan images are here. Look. The shadows on his brain indicate aneurysms. They must be causing the pain. This will be an open skull surgery. Let's be careful. We don't know how guilt is affecting his system. We have to hurry, Doctor. Cerebral hemorrhage, hemorrhage has been detected. Cerebral, that's the word. The patient may suffer any number of irreversible side effects if we don't treat him quickly. There are two objectives for this operation. Stop the brain's hemorrhaging. Excise the aneurysms and suture the blood vessels. My favorite. We'll be operating on three patients in a row. Oh, good. Good. Good stuff. No Alright, let's, let's begin the operation. Got some good stuff coming up, I'm sure. Gonna be way fun. Please hurry. Let's get started. We have several operations to perform, so try and work efficiently. Ooh, we're doing good. Even if the game doesn't think I am, we're doing good. So far, I mean, you know, it's only going to get harder from here. But this is a pretty good start I'm making. Doctor, whoa, whoa, no, there's going to be more. Quick, use the magnification tool, Doctor. Use the magnification yep. Tool. Who would have guessed? Alright. These look like the only two. But just in case, let's look around. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Oh good, a new aneurysm. Any other ones? Oh good, there's more. It's like Billy Mays here. Not doing too bad. I mean, all things considering, this is actually going quite well. If I can stitch anything. Well, done. All right, we're done. I doubt it. Of course not. I know I injected it directly into the aneurysm. Good lord. Okay. Strategy time. We're not failing yet. possible to get four you just gotta you gotta make sure that you reduce their sizes occasionally and suture properly yeah but all in all this isn't going terribly you can do a little better on time but not doing too bad And we still have our healing touch for what other other patients that we have to deal with. Let's go. And it looks like we don't have to do any um, cutting into the patient, which is good. That'll save us some time with bandaging and all that. A number of enlarged aneurysms have been confirmed. Please treat them the same as the normal ones, but you'll have to be careful. When the larger ones are excised, the blood vessels separate, making anastatomus and stotomosis more difficult. That means we'll have to use synthetic blood vessels. Good. Please be careful. 
I'm fine. Use the forceps. Use the drain. Use the forceps. The sutures are ready. You know what? Screw that for right now. There we go. There we go. Please continue. Well, Alright, we're done with the area, but let's look around because there's going to be more stuff everywhere, I'm sure. Oh, good lord. Any other ones? Okay, good. We just got these three to worry about. Doctor. And we'll worry about that in a second. Yep, yep, I know. Is that it? Or another one? Okay, I think we're okay. I'm, I'm, why isn't that working? There we go. That wasted a good bit of time, I'm sure. I can, I can assure you that I was actually doing stuff there, not just not doing anything. Please. Oh, good lord. Good, we had one burst over here, that's good news. Will that do it? Can we just leave that there for the time being and focus on the other problems? We can go and finish suturing that, there we go. Not great on the time, but we're not, I guess we're not doing terrible. Well, Treatment of all aneurysms is complete, but knowing what happened with the last patient, to be on the safe side, we should wait a moment or two. <sighs> well, isn't that great? There's no way I'm going to be able to deal with that without this. Okay, we're doing okay. Yeah, not too bad now. I just hope the next one doesn't require me to do anything particularly difficult. Alright, there's no more sign of aneurysms. We're running low on time, but our last patient is next. Let's do our best. Yeah. Oh, good. Puzz. Well, tumors have been confirmed as well, because why not? He's got brain tumors. We'll need to treat the tumors as well as the aneurysms, but we can't ignore the pus or the inflammations either. Let's do this, doctor. Yep, I'm sure. Mm. 
We'll deal with it in a minute. We'll do that in a second. Just give me, give me a sec. What are you doing, Doctor? There's definitely an inflammation there, I can assure you. That is definitely an inflammation. Okay. Oh, come on. It's just annoying. You got stupid brain tumors, this guy, and you never bothered to tell anybody. You're gonna have to drain everything again, of course. Alright, let's deal with all the inflammations. Well, Treatment of this area complete, but, but there's more! Look for the other areas and fix them too, because he's a broken man. We'll start with all the extraction, then we'll focus on the tumor second. Assuming you don't run out of time here really soon. More aneurysms. Eh. These missions are always really hard. We need to pick up the I know. I mean, this is looking pretty iffy if we're going to get this done. And we're gonna have to boost his vitals in a second, so that's not gonna help our time. Maybe saving the healing touch for the, this guy would have been the best. It's just I feel like doing the last mission would have been very difficult. Doctor, hurry. I know. I mean, I can say we're close, right? We're we're not we're not that bad off. And if I just managed to save like an extra 30 seconds, I'd probably have it. Like that's all I need is an, an additional 30 seconds and I'd probably have this mission. Derek. This isn't good, Derek. Stop the operation. You're an incompetent doctor because you can't get it done in 10 minutes like the rest of us doctors. Yeah. The next day, Derek didn't show up at Caduceus. Oh, it's so sad. Ugh. Yeah, okay, be right back. Alright, so we're doing a bit better now. We're at a little under five minutes, but I've completed the first two operations. So this should give us a lot of time, and I've saved the healing touch without, I think, any aneurysms breaking this time, actually. Which is kind of impressive. Uh, so, it, uh, it, I'm getting really nervous, but uh, we should have enough time to get this last section done. Okay, I think I'm more or less at the point where I stopped. And uh, as you can tell, we have still a good bit more time left. I've dealt with all the aneurysms, and uh, I've almost dealt with all the tumors, I think. But I feel like there might be one last section here that we have to deal with. Maybe. What are you doing, Doctor? Please, be careful. Treatment of the aneurysms is complete. We can't let our guard down. I do still have the healing touch, we'll probably whip out if there is more, which I'm assuming there will be. If there's anything like the last two patients, the possibility that more may form is... Ta-da! Alright. Let's whip out the healing touch. We're also gonna inject a bit of vitals. I know. And I know it needs to be injected directly into the aneurysm. You may have not noticed, but that's actually exactly what I was attempting to do. We need to deal with the aneurysms first. They're the dangerous ones. So unfortunately, all we were able to get out of that was just dealing with all the aneurysms. This might be a bit iffy. Hurry! 
I know. Oh, come on, this is gonna be iffy. Oh, I don't think we're gonna get it, no. Oh, come on, that's, that is ridiculously difficult. I saved so much time on that. We had five minutes for the last operation, practically. And that wasn't enough. Good lord. It's that stupid pus. That pus is taking up so much of my time. Oh. And the problem is, is my hands are getting worn out now because we've been playing for about 30 minutes and normally I don't have to be concentrated for like most of the time. Most of the time I'm just sitting here tapping the screen. So now my hands are getting worn out for holding the thing so long and trying to do this for so long. Blech. Ugh. That makes me mad. I'll give it one more try in normal. If I can't do it, we'll give it a try on easy. Doctor, I know, I'm, I'm going as fast as I can. I think we may have made it this time though. Oh, well we managed to finish all the operations. Well done, Doctor. Another one of these missions where they take the normal difficulty curve and they just say, what's the difficulty curve? <laughs> and then they give me the hard version in the normal mode. And honestly, this is one of those missions that I feel like the difference between easy and normal wouldn't be that different. Because I didn't have to inject much stabilizer anyway. And the only thing that normal ever really seems to do is increase how much stabilizer does. I guess it decreases how much uh, how much damage like certain ailments to them do. But I mean, I, I, I'm serious. I feel like in easy mode, this would still be pretty brutal. And I don't even know how you do hard, honestly. Like, seriously, that was about everything I had three separate times. And I finally made it with about a little bit less than under 30 seconds. I'll take it, though. The great Dr. Styles' name needs to be proclaimed through all the land. The doctor's, doctor's predicament here is far worse than I imagined. How foolish. They were trying to hide their symptoms with medicine that hadn't even been finished. They must have known the risk of triggering guilt. All of these people just wanted to improve their skills as doctors. Yeah. Don't worry, Angie. I'm sure that once this is over, they'll be able to get themselves back on track. Yes. But this won't end until we find the man who led them astray. Patrick Mercer. Hell. Ha. <laughs> Evil laughing. And while I am over time, I've actually got a bit of time, and I think after some editing, we can tackle this one. Dreams in, dum -ba bum How is the investigation going over at Acropolis? So, you can't find any of their top management, huh? They've probably gone into hiding. Yeah, it's going well on our side, but we're having the same problem. Mercer isn't here. Right. Call me if anything turns up. Have the foxes all left their hole? Or... <laughs> Dr. Stiles, there's a man inside Mercer's office, just down the hall. He said he wouldn't talk to anyone but you. And I think he's one of the HOA doctors. I wonder who this could possibly be. Me? He looked African. Any chance you know him? It's Adele! Astute observations. Would it be alright if we talked to him alone for a few minutes? That's fine, but he wasn't being very cooperative. Be careful and let me know if you need us. Hi Adele. You've come, Dr. Styles. President Mercer, he isn't here. He's looking for something. Adele. The Hands of Eclipsius has been ordered to cease all of its operations. And I'd also like to make sure you get examined. Dr. Tolva, there's a possibility that you've been infected with a new type of guilt. There's something I need to say to you, Dr. Stiles. What is it, Adele? It wasn't fair. I was born and raised in Costa Gear, 
where every day was a struggle to survive. I did everything in my power to become a doctor, but my skills were nothing compared to yours. No. No. Adele, it's not a contest. There's no point in comparing us. You don't understand. That's why I joined the hands of Eclipsius. My healing touch may be artificial, but so what? Is that so wrong? Not particularly. Dr. Tolba, don't you realize how dangerous the new guilt is? You see, Dr. Styles. President, this has nothing to do with the guilt, punk. Shut up. President Mercer gave me what I wanted. He shared with me a secret. What is he talking about? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Look at the look at that face. Mm, that's the face of evil. Neo guilt. The great silence. See, just changed me. I am a new creation. He's lost it. You think? No, Derek. It's the guilt. It's affecting his mind. Be careful. Who knows what'll do next? Dr. Styles, do you know what else is a healing touch is good for? It's also good for killing. No. Stop it, Adele. We're doctors, not murderers. <laughs> Dr. Styles. Yeah, Adele, you have to snap out of it. So. <laughs> What is this sudden pain? It hurts so much. That is a creepy face. I did not expect that. Yeah! Adele? Dr. Styles? Don't worry. I'm alright. We need to focus on Adele. Like, was Adele trying to choke him? I don't get that. What is this? Angie, we have to operate immediately. Understood. Yes, Doctor. Sure, why not? Damage to the right lung, chiral reaction positive, neo guilt siege detected. Quick elimination is necessary. Alright, let's begin. Dr. Tobel's affected area is the right lung, and as expected, there are chiral reactions. The neo guilt siege. Or Siege? Siege? You've heard of it, Professor Blackwell? Indeed. Yes, it's a strain of guilt that was developed here. It causes pus and hemo. Tulsi's in the organs. Well, I mean, I'm, not, I'm, I'm a doctor, of course, but I'm not exactly familiar with hemo, hematulsis. Its very existence is a testament to why guilt research was internationally banned. And so far, no one has found any countermeasures to use against it. Maybe this is why doing, like, a completely making it illegal to do any guilt research is not a great idea. It's kind of like Let's make guns completely illegal. Oh wait, now only the criminals have it, because the criminals don't care about being illegal. Hmm. Not exactly our best plan. This can't be. That's insane! Angie, please continue with the briefing. Yes, we have only one objective for this operation. Eliminate the new type of guilt. How are we supposed to accomplish that, though? Probably with a laser. I will save Still, the we have to cure him. Remember what Adele said when we left Costa Gear? He wanted to help people suffering from diseases and injuries. He wanted to restore his country. I won't let those desires just fade away like this. I sure hope the mission isn't that hard then, otherwise we are going to. You're right, Doctor. Let's save Dr. Tolba. I'll support you to the best of my ability by standing back here and giving encouraging phrases. We'll begin the procedure. Thank you. Let's start the operation. All right. Before we begin, Father, is there anything you can tell us about what we need to do? Angie, Derek, both of you have a wealth of experience with treating guilt. Just believe in yourselves. I'm pretty sure guilt doesn't believe in us. I'll help you out as best as I can. Together, we'll find a way to treat it. Understood. I, I suppose that'll work. Believe in yourself and stuff. And hopefully that'll be enough to get by. Well, this isn't looking great.
So what are those? I guess we can pick some with antibiotic gel, maybe? Uh, oh, oh, I see. Inflammation, I thought it was like a hole. Convulsions! Tower reaction is rising! Derek. It's coming! Siege is going to reveal itself! Nice Stop job. The, the convulsions have stopped, but multiple lacerations have formed. Siege has arrived, but it's probably hidden within the organ. Find it with the ultrasound. Understood. Doctor, use the ultrasound to search the area. You hear those sounds? Derek. That shadow is Siege. Make an incision to force it to the surface. All right, go ahead, Doctor. Hey. What did it do? The operation field turned completely white. Seizure released the gases it was creating within the organ. We can't continue the procedure if we can't see what we're doing. But Father, we can't just leave Seeds alone either. We're going to have to... Derek. Improvise. Derek, grab that air compressor. Are you serious? Blow into the microphone. Use it to disperse the gas. Seeds confirmed. The gas is completely cleared. Look. Siege is running rampant at a tremendous speed. I was going to make a joke about how they should use a fan, but really, look. The source of the gas seemed to be the wound where Siege appeared from. First, we should treat that wound with a synthetic membrane to stop the gas from leaking out again. Right, but after that, how can we attack Siege if it's moving around so quickly? We'll need to find a way to stop its movement. Derek, try using different tools to see if any of them are effective against it. It stopped mo- whoa, that was an accident, it stopped moving? It seemed the effect of the antibiotic gel restrained Siege's movements. Alright, use the antibiotic gel to stop it from moving, then cut straight into the main body. Use the Understood, Doctor, use the scalpel. Ah, crap. Boost the vitals some more. Great game mechanics, right? Oh, dang it. Come on. Alright, hold on. And after raising those vitals, those definitely lowered it quite a bit from all that we just dealt with. Alright, we should be good after this. We'll let it make one more incision. Well, those do a lot of damage. Good lord. Now, what is that? Oh, good lord. Cow reaction is getting weaker, won't be much longer now. There's the vital some more. releasing gas, but something's different. It seems to have created a clone of itself. A clone? So it can just replicate itself? That's right. When it senses a threat to itself, it creates clones as a defense mechanism. I don't know what will happen if we touch the clones, but the fact remains that there is only one main body. Be cautious and only attack the main one. How am I supposed to know? Vitals dropping, a large amount of pus is formed. It's because we attacked the replica, the main body seems to have escaped. It looks like those replicas actually can, are actually collections of pus. If we touch them, damage spreads. Doctor. Next time, we need to make sure that we don't attack the replicas.
so how do we- Oh, I see! That makes sense. The real one is colored, the other ones aren't. Ah, oh, dang it. Ah, uh, they do so much damage, you just can't- Like, I was f trying to use the stabilizer, and even that wasn't working. Oh boy, let's call him Cadu uh, support from Caduceus. This one isn't as bad as the other one, though. I feel like this one's definitely going to be doable now that I know what I'm doing a bit better. All right, let's get going. Very nice. Okay, I think we're back. It's the end of Siege. Kyra reaction is negative. Treatment of Siege complete. I'm so glad we were able to save Dr. Tolba. Well, Doctor, please treat the remaining wounds and move on to closing them up. Yeah, that's gonna take a second. I mean, like, if you take if you take time to fix everything wrong with the guy, then it just takes forever to do anything. We need to pick up the case. I know, we'll get it done in time, it's just... There's a lot of cleanup. <laughs> There we go. So yeah, second time was all it took, but uh, that, that one was a good challenge. It's a little erratic, honestly. He does a lot of things, and it's kind of difficult to keep up with all of them. Your efforts won't be in vain. He'll go back to normal, Angie. At least, that's what I believe, and we all know how well that works. Professor Blackwell. Father. Thank you, Father. Yay. Where am I? Dr. Styles. Uh, Dr. Styles? Nurse Thompson? Don't worry, Dr. Tolva. You're okay now. We successfully extracted the guilt from inside of you. You may have slight memory loss, though. N no, Dr. Styles. I remember everything. I can't believe all the things I did to you. It's alright. It's alright. Your mind and body were being affected by guilt. That's no excuse for what I did. Those feelings were already there, deep down inside me. I don't deserve to be a doctor. Hey! That isn't true, Dr. Tolba. We all have our weaknesses. Yours just happens to be turning all crazy face. But we overcome them and move on. We have to look towards the future, so please, don't think such things. You can't give up now. But... I don't have the healing touch anymore. No. That's not what's important. You have the desire to save people. As long as you have that, you'll be a great doctor. You really think so? I do. We're doctors because we don't give up on our patients, no matter the circumstances. And I made you a promise that I would return you to Costa Gear as an accomplished surgeon. Adele. Will you let me keep that promise? Dr. Styles. Dr. Styles. Thank you. I'm I'm sorry for everything. Oh, crying face. Hey. I heard they're about to wrap up their investigation, Heather. I'm glad it ended without any major chaos. Yes, that's a relief. It's too bad they weren't able to arrest President Maizumi, but Oh, hold on. Dr. Chase, my cell is ringing. Hmm, it's restricted. I wonder who it could be, hello? Heather. M Heather. Father, where are you? Don't ask that. You must know already. I can't let myself be taken in yet. Heather, I have a favor to ask of you. What are you talking about? If... If Tracy ever wakes up... Take good care of her for me. I'll be counting on you. Father! Father! The drama continues! Yeah. I think next episode probably is going to be the last one. Uh, or maybe they'll be... I don't know. We are, we are very close, though. And I hope you guys enjoyed so far. 
it's, uh, I would say that these are sometimes a bit more fun to watch than to play, honestly, because that first mission was a pain in the butt. I'm sitting at an hour and ten minutes of recording. Hopefully not that long in terms of the actual video, but yes, lots and lots of work. So anyway, I'll see you guys next time for the ending section of Trauma Center Under, Under the Knife 2. Bye!